Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, there are, I can't even tell you the number, messages on my page. Let's see which video it is. They are attacking people of God. Um, hi. Mahina Windstar. Hi, I am trying to watch you for the first time just to help your channel. But I'm a couple of minutes in and I have no clue what you're doing. Kind of sucks. Yeah, an intro would be nice. This is by uh, Easy Ethanol. There's another one, Badger James. What the F are you reading, lady? It makes absolutely no sense at all. Easy Ethan all says, I had a very strange files on my phone similar to what she's reading. Mine seemed to be tracking my phone info on text calls, apps, location, everything. Everything I was doing when I was on my phone, moving or whatever. And it was semi-encrypted, seeming to me, or I'm just not computer literate. I thought the cops were bugging me, honestly. It's actually some, somewhat likely, honestly. Have you ever went through the files from your, from your, deep in your phone? Badger James says, yes, I check my phone files regularly, and I always use a VPN. We're on the internet. I also have App Tracker installed on my phone. It stops apps installed on my phone from getting data. It shouldn't be. Well, let me tell you people something. Most likely, all of these people are Nithyananda goons. This is what they do. If you notice on my pages, in this whole eight or nine years that I've had a page, nobody writes me unless it's a goon. This is their MO. Um, so now they're going to say, no, no, no one's trying to kill you. Um, I'll, I'll tell you exactly which page this is on. This is on my other page that has 149 subscribers. Okay. So, um, let me read, let me read one of these that, that, uh, they put on here. Tina commented, no, no one wants to kill you. If you are truly, and, and the, the thing was deleted. So here's what I would like to tell you. Um, I was going back and forth, sliding my finger on the, the keyboard. Uh, I was not pressing individual letters. I certainly was not using the uppercase button to make capital letters. Uh, when, when, they, when, when they were telling uh, people what to write, I guess on an application that I filed or on a resume that I made up, uh, they wrote P, capital P, small H, capital D, PhD. They said put PhD and Lou, capital L, small O-U, which was the name of my ex-psychopath husband, okay? Uh, the other thing they wrote was Shri. Shri said, Shri okayed this, capital S-R-I. Um, I haven't followed Hinduism in a very, very long time. Um, I have reset my phone to factory settings at least a 100 times to try to get these people off my phone. So no, these are not deep files on my phone that I'm bringing up. These are what these hackers are speaking to each other about back and forth. The other thing that I would like to tell you all is that Muji, if you're listening, they're hacked into your stuff. What they said was PD on Muji is open. PD on Muji is open. Capital P, capital D. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's a, a computer term. I don't know if it's a personal file. I, I don't know what it is. It says PD on Muji is open. It also talked about uh, Lady G Tarot. Um, 
I, I went by so fast, the only thing I caught was tarot. So, they're, uh, I, as I've been saying all these years, they're hacked into all her stuff, and they did stuff like this to uh, go and talk to her on her page, make her believe that I was the one hacking into all her stuff, and she knew better. She knew it wasn't me. She was going right along with them to try to attack me because I outed who she was. Okay? She's no better than these people, but they are, in fact, hacked into everything she owns. They were the ones who uh, who crashed her computer and destroyed her pictures. Uh, no, I don't know how to do things like that. I don't know how to do things, and nor would I. Nor would I. Um, no, they don't. They don't want to kill me. Well, let me tell you something. Twice already, a bag of food has been left outside my front door, as if I would ever eat some random bag of food that was left out my, outside my door. And they literally paid $30 for the food and just left it right outside my door. They have showed up at my house three times already. They have gotten me fired from my job because they were hacked into my job computer. Now they're trying to prevent me from finding another job. They have stolen my identity. I told all these pastors out here that they were hacked into their stuff. They all laughed in my face and just said that I was trying to scare them. No, I was trying to help protect them, and they all attacked me for it. Well, yesterday, I caught in one of their conversations that at least they mentioned Isaiah's name. And if they mention Isaiah's name, then I know they're hacked into everybody's account. Because as I also showed you, they sent me a robocall from Prophetess Maddie Nottage. I told you they were hacked into everybody's account. I told you this. So now what I would like to tell you, being that these goons wanted to ask the question, they're trying to make me look like I'm crazy here. Remember that little faggot that threatened me on YouTube? Yeah, he tried to make, make everyone believe that I was crazy. He was going around the internet leaving, leaving um, messages on my video saying, I've been watching this woman for a long time. She's truly psychotic. This is what they've been doing to me for seven years. When Sarah Landry came out against these people, he had uh, one of his ex sannyasis come out and say that Sarah Landry raped him eight times a day. Or well, doesn't he wish? Doesn't he wish? This is what these people do. This is what these people do. I have never been to that Adenum. I have never even met Nithyananda in person. Praise God Almighty, the Holy Spirit was looking out for me. I never meant that scumbag in person. Nor would I ever want to. But as far as them not wanting to kill me, um, since these goons really wanted to bring it in, back into the public, if you go on Sarah Landry's page, she speaks about a little girl there, a sannyasi who was in her 20s, who was killed at the Nithyananda Adenam. If I can find that, uh, that video, I will post it here. Her name was Sangeeta. She left the Adenam because she found out that Nithyananda was having sex with everybody over there. She also thought that she was in a, a true order. And they were all supposed to be celibates. And she also believed that Nithyananda was a celibate monk. Well, she found out Nithyananda was having sex with everything that moved. And she left. So what did they do? They called her and they told her that she had to come back to the Adenum to sign out and she had to bring her coffee back. So she went back to the Adenum. Once she got back to the Adenum, they wouldn't let her out again. They held her captive there. And then they poisoned her food. And the next day, you can see the girl on camera because they have the camera focused on the lobby area. You can see a sannyasi sitting at a desk there. Then you can see Sangeeta walk in and sit in a chair. And then all of a sudden she falls over. They had her body cremated even before her mother can, can get her body. So that nobody would know what happened to this girl. Well, Sarah Landry and Janathana Sharma came out and told the truth that they had poisoned that girl. That is why she died. There was another man there that just went to the Adena for one of Nithyananda's programs. He saw that it was a POS program that he had just paid $10,000 for, and he was demanding his money back. I don't know if that man was poisoned 
or if Nithyananda went in the spirit and killed him. But he was found the next day dead. So yeah, yeah, they do kill people. Sorry, sorry to break your bubble. And um, I know that these are all Nithyananda goons just trying to make everybody believe that I'm just crazy. I don't know what I'm talking about. For somebody to come on a religious page and say, what the F, lady, what are you reading? Uh, these are all Nithyananda goons. This is their MO. This is what they do. And um, I showed you that uh, faggots page, the one that threatened my life. Remember that cute little picture of E.T. with the red hoodie? Yeah, that's just what he looks like. He's a little alien. Um his uh, page is U -S -tube, y -O -U -I -S U-I-S-Tube, Y-O-U-I-S, Tube. And um, he's got videos all, all there on me, on me. He's stalking me. He's stalking me. And he's the one who left me uh, a message on my, one of my videos saying, they're getting paid very well to do this to me. Okay? And I'm not the only one they're doing this to. So now, I want you to all understand me very clearly. This is a cult. This is a cult. These are satanic cult followers. They astral project into your house. They're astral projecting into my house. They've tried to kill me seven times in my sleep already. They can't do it because the Holy Spirit is here. You see? There's no spirit anywhere in the universe anywhere in all of creation stronger more powerful than the holy spirit none so i want to show you something here so this is my other my other page with 149 subscribers you'll see the email there is Full empty 654 at gmail.com, which they are hacked into. You'll see it right there, right? I'm going to hit the security tab right now. And I'm going to go down to manage all devices. We'll see if it shows up now. It should. No, it's not showing up yet. It'll probably show up after I after I close off. When I close off here, I will I will uh, sign back on so I can show you what I see after every single time that I make a video. I have to go to both of my pages and delete these these people from my from my YouTube pages. Oh, it might be on this one. Okay, this is my other my other page with the 508 or something followers. <clears throat> Manage devices. See what's lit up in blue. These are devices that my that my page that accessed my page, right? So, I'm on a, a Chrome device. You're going to see down at the bottom, it says Google Chrome, and you're going to see a second device there, Android device. This is the hackers. The Android device is the hackers. So every single time I make a video, I have to come on here and sign out to get them off of my YouTube page. So I signed out of that one. Now, this is the current one that I'm on right now, and you'll see it again. The Android device is the hackers. So they're watching me make this video right now. And you see, I know this. I know this. And I do it anyway. Because they're not going to stop me from living. They're not going to stop me from living. So I will go and find those videos on uh, Sangeeta's murder. And um, 
You also can go on Sarah Landry's page. She has spoken about this. They also did an interview with one of the news agencies in India. She and Janathana Sharma did an interview with one of the news agencies in India. And that's where I found out that they actually poisoned Sangeeta in the food. So yesterday when I said that they, they were talking about some guy that um, with, with his KFC, that's when I said, oh, they're going to poison it. What are they going to poison his chicken? This is what they do. This is their M.O. This is their M.O. So uh, all of those comments that you see on that page, I'm going to leave them all right there. They're all Nithian and Dagoons. And if you've watched the, 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 the saga unfold with Sarah Landry, you will see that they've done the same thing to her. This is their M.O. So you need to watch and understand their behaviors to see how they attack people and understand that we are the victims. <clears throat> he is not the victim. He is not being persecuted. Why is he paying these people to attack me? I've never even met him in person. Why is he paying these people to attack me? That should let you know the truth that I'm telling and where I am in Christ. He's shaking in his boots. That I need five hackers on me at all times. They are literally documenting every move I make. Every move I make. They have destroyed over $10,000 worth of cell phones and laptops. And three or four work computers that my company had sent me. So they are absolutely in your phone. If you left Nithi and Anda, they are absolutely in your phone. And if you do what I told you to do with the DNS and just slide your finger over the keys, their whole entire conversation will show up. And we're talking about things that, that could not possibly be old files on my phone because I have reset my phone to factory settings at least a hundred times already. This is in fact their conversations. Be very clear about this. I've been dealing with these people for eight years now. I know exactly what I'm talking about. I will get those videos and put it in the description for you.